Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Liz, YouTube and Business Coach, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about the difference between attracting clients versus getting clients. The main difference between attracting versus getting clients is really just how it sounds. So with getting clients, you are actively out there seeking to find someone that can become your client. So maybe you're scrounging around on Facebook groups. Maybe you're messaging folks on Instagram. You're actively reaching out to tell people that you have services available and asking them if they want to work with you in some capacity. Now, depending on how you do this, <laughs> you may be successful, you might not be successful. That's a conversation for another time, but that is getting clients. Now attracting clients on the other hand, that is when you're letting clients come to you. So you're not going out and getting them or trying to convince them to work with you, but they're actually naturally and organically coming to you and asking about your offers, asking about your services, asking how they can work with you very different energies and they do actually work together they can work together so when you're just starting out in your business journey maybe you're a brand new coach or service-based entrepreneur then in the beginning stages because you have no momentum built under your belt you might have to start with a little bit of that getting energy but not necessarily in the sleazy way you can do it in the form of, you know, offering coaching for free or at a reduced rate with beta clients, getting market research, like things like that are ways where you can actively get clients, but not in a sleazy way and mainly in a way that will help you improve upon your skill. Then you settle into the energy of attracting clients. So while you are working on improving your skills, working on improving your messaging with market research, at the same time, you are open to attracting clients and allowing them to come to you, to come into your space and to inquire about your services because they know about all the awesome stuff you're doing in the world. They know and see through your content how you can help them and how you can transform them. So they can work together and go hand in hand. And this is especially helpful if you're in the very beginning stages and as time is passing by and you're kind of waiting for your first paying clients, going out and practicing your skill with beta clients is a great way to build up your skill in the meantime and build more confidence in your capabilities as a coach. The thing is, is that if you fall too deep into the energy of getting clients and so maybe you've gotten used to having to reach out to people in order for them to start working with you you become overly dependent on that and then what happens is is you get into the habit of thinking that if clients are going to come in you have to reach out and grab them in and that's an issue for many different reasons for one it's very difficult to do this in a non-sleazy way and for two, it's very hard to keep doing this in a sustainable way in order to increase your income and to scale and grow your business. So you don't want to get into the habit of getting clients and it can become a little too comfortable and feel like a little bit of a, a quick win or a quick fix for why you may not be attracting clients as quickly as you'd like, but you don't want to fall into this habit because when you get onto YouTube, you are completely in attracting client energy because YouTube is a search platform. And so there isn't too much you can do in terms of engagement. Yes, you can comment on uh, people's posts and they can comment on yours and things like that, but still it doesn't really have the functionality that say Instagram has, for instance, as an engagement platform or like Facebook groups, for instance. So if you're on YouTube, and you haven't already settled into the idea that clients can just come to you because of the amazing transformation that you've already been displaying that you can give to them, then YouTube is gonna be incredibly hard <laughs> because you're, you're not used to the idea that people will just come to you. You're not used to the idea of trusting that people will just come to you. This is something that you can build and develop outside of YouTube, but it's imperative that you have this when you start using YouTube to grow your business and attract clients. All right, I'm not going to leave you hanging. If you are finding that you're still stuck in that needing to get clients energy versus being in ease, being in flow and attracting them, then here are some helpful tools that you can use to help you 
trans transition into better energy. So journaling is huge. It's been an incredible tool for me and my clients to help figure out, you know, why it's waiting to attract clients so uncomfortable. Why is it so difficult to trust that these things can come to you? So journaling is a huge and incredible tool for that. Another thing is to remember that business, just like YouTube, is a marathon. It is not a sprint. That means that you can't wait until you hit these gigantic milestones before you give yourself a break and allow yourself to rest. You need to make sure that you're taking time to rest and celebrate your wins. Celebrate all of the many milestones that are getting you on the way to your larger goal. But rest is so key. That self-care is so super important. One helpful thing that has really, really served me as someone who is a recovering perfectionist <laughs> is always asking myself when I feel that sense of urgency inside of me to get something done or to be farther than I am, to ask myself, where does that come from? So journaling helps with this too. Or if I'm feeling like I need to get a task done that I just need to get it done right away and it can't wait until tomorrow, you know, I ask myself, wait a minute, can this actually wait until tomorrow? Does this have to get done today? And that has been extremely helpful for me to get out of that constantly work mode, hustle and grind mode, and to just really relax into flow and ease. Definitely has served me a great, great deal. Another thing to do, kind of like what I mentioned earlier in the video, is use this time to practice your skills, to work on developing your skills as a coach, your skills as a teacher, your skills in creating content and in perfecting your messaging. So taking on beta clients, for instance, also um, spending more time, you know, finding programs that are right fit for you, just making sure that you're really improving on the skills that you have so that you can deeply serve your clients when they do come to you. If you're still finding it really difficult to relax into the ease and flow of attracting clients versus trying to go out and snatch them up, then there's room for you in my one-on-one -on -one program where I literally help my clients to do just that. Because there's no way that you can grow a business and produce an income to help reach your goals if you feel like you have to go out and work and grab everything that you need. No. You get to attract ease. You get to do this in a way that is sustainable, in a way that inspires you, in a way that lights you up. And hustle and grind is just not the way to do it. So if you want in, use the link in the description box below to apply. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions at all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.